my problem is that I'm too hot, too successful in my career. I make too much money. I have too many amazing friends and family, too many cute clothes. Do you know how hard it is to choose an outfit each day? I also have so many amazing and hot people sliding into my DMs every day. Somebody commented, never really seen a butt crack at chest level. This is a first to be honest. <laughs> Let me start by saying this is not gonna be a video making fun of people's looks. I am better than that. I'm not always better than that, but I'm usually better than that. This is gonna be another video commenting and critiquing the narcissistic behaviors of far leftists. Welcome to another psychological deep dive. For people who do not recognize me, hi, I'm a lesbian, so don't think this video is homophobic. I mean, it is more idiot phobic, retard phobic, but also fake phobic because if you guys know me in real life, I am the type of person, the type of friend that will push you to the breaking point in a good way. I will never yes you to death. I will never tell you that what I think you're doing is great even though it's shit. If you are toxic and unhealthy, I will tell you you are being unhealthy and toxic. And listen, more than one thing tells me that these people are not happy and are definitely toxic. It's time consuming to respond to all these messages. Um, honestly, I've had it too good for too long. I think my problem is that my life is so wonderful and I only have 24 hours in a day to appreciate it all. First of all, in what world do you know someone that is condescending to at least some people, AKA making sure they are better than you, happy with themselves. Y'all, I'm tired. Seven in the morning at the physical therapy office, misgendered by someone who I've told my pronouns to. And I said, just to let you know, my pronouns are they, them. And they went, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, that's right. Notice the monotone, the demeaning voice. Kind of like how I'm doing now. The large eyes of disapproval. It's a constant theme. Joelle said it first, not me. Remember a few months ago when I posted a video on here talking about Duper's Delight? They have a creepy smile and they all kind of do it. It is a telltale sign that they are being manipulative or lying to you and are enjoying it. These people will always tell on themselves if you pay close enough attention. If you have not seen that video yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite videos I've ever done. Link to that in the description below. Go watch it if you have not already. And it's kind of funny how tuned in I am, as well as most of the people that watch this channel, at least a good amount of you, probably all of you, if you've been watching me for a while, are tuned into this nonsense, right? These people are not. They're absolutely clueless. Much like my friend Lucas's film called Blind Innocence. You can watch it free using the link in the description. It's an amazing film. Very short film. I think it's like 20 minutes. Click the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Here's a little sneak peek. Blind Innocence. tale experienced by many, but aware of by none. For this very blindness shields you from its existence. It shields you from its threat to your way of life. And we're back to more nonsense. And then I had to explain um, too many times to my physical therapist that I didn't want to do an exercise where I had to crunch my face into my boobs. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. We need a name for this, not for this person. So you don't want to crunch your face into your boobs, but you're more than okay with showing your boobs on camera for like potentially millions of people to see. I'm not convinced. Another way narcissists tell a narcissist tell on themselves is by, it could be just me, but is by over pronouncing words. It's almost like they're talking to a child or something. It seems very demeaning. See, when I, when I speak like that, that's what they do. Like they're trying to make sense to somebody that they see, that they deem as less intelligent. See the difference between that and this? Very different. It's important to feel cared for, respected, have your humanity honored. And I'm just, um, I'm tired. I'm real tired. Um, and I've had a rough morning. Okay, do you see that? That is not Duper's Delight. We need a term for this. I am making it, I am taking a stand. We are going to call this the patronizing purse. Pursing of the lips, the patronizing purse. When they do that kind of shit. Who do you think you are? Who do you know? What do you know? You know, you know, you know, dick. And then I had to explain um, 
too many times to my physical therapist. Psychologically speaking, it's not so much a controlling tactic here as it is with Duper's Delight. This, to me, it's more about a false sense of superiority, thinking that they're better than you, acting like they're better than you, so much so that it has become a complex. Maybe you've heard of it. The dark side of arrogance, understanding the roots of superiority complex. I remember a time in my life when I was consumed by feelings of superiority. I felt like I was better than others and I used arrogance as a way to feel superior. Hmm. <laughs> who would have thought? At the time, I didn't understand that these feelings were rooted in insecurity. Also, who would have thought? We already knew this. I thought my arrogance made me special and that I was ahead of others in some way. I was a late bloomer and had trouble finding my way as a man with other guys bullying me because I was just too nice. I don't think these people are too nice. I think they're too dumb. Or I think they're lost and they are definitely looking for someone else to bully so they can feel better about themselves. But guess what? That's not how self-improvement works. It's interesting to me that people can't seem to grasp the fact that I'm a lesbian, nor can they let go of their incessant need to tell me that I'm not a lesbian. But let me just remind you that sexuality, by definition, refers to the gender identity of the people that you're attracted to. Gender identity, not body parts. Sexuality is not about body parts. Thank you. There it is, the patronizing purse, the b purse. We're gonna call it the b purse, because they look like a little b when they do it. Sexuality is not about body parts. So like, no, and yes it is. Yeah, well, sexuality isn't. Sexual orientation is. Sexuality means something different than sexual orientation, but I guarantee you don't even, this person doesn't even know that they're two different things. Even though they're so specific with their words and their lingo and the woke, woke language, actual words that have been around for centuries, they have no idea what they mean. Here's the thing, right? And we know this because this is what our parents have told us since we, since we were bullied. I mean, everybody's probably been bullied at one point or another in their lives, right? When you actually know that you are more intelligent, I won't say better, but more intelligent than someone else, you are better at something than someone else. And you know your worth, you don't feel the need to speak down about that other person. The only thing that does it, it creates a fake sense of self-importance. Examples of a superiority complex. Belittling or dismissing other people's opinions and contributions. <laughs> Everything the leftists do. Competing for attention and admiration. Hi, TikTok. Behaving condescendingly towards others they deem inferior. Literally, textbook. And remember, you can never be as good as them either. People do not even want to hire them anymore. And I can't blame them. I wouldn't want to hire them. As a lot of y'all know, I was forced to quit my job a couple of weeks ago due to severe transphobia and ableism, including being physically threatened. And I am in need of your help. Another telltale sign I want to talk about is crazy eyes. And I feel like this is definitely a meme that goes around on like non-leftist or like right-wing Nazi conservative Twitter, really. It's just like non-leftist Twitter. The thing that we say when we post in response to the memes is it's always in the eyes or it's always the eyes. We can always see the crazy eyes when someone's saying some crazy ass. I mean, look at this person. They, apparently they threatened libs of TikTok publicly dumb. I wish I could pin down the way that all of these eyes are similar in the same way that Duper's Delight has a tilt, like a very specific way that they smile. And I haven't been able to pin it down just yet. The only thing I could think of is that their eyes are always a little bit wider. And I don't know how I know, maybe it's just the energy, but I just know, and I know you guys know what I mean too. You can just tell. Crazy eyes are crazy eyes. <laughs> maybe it's because like the eyes are the windows to the soul and their soul is lost. Like, I don't really know what it is, but I know and you know, and I know you know, and you know I know. Hello. Regarding recent Putin's interview to Tucker Carlson, it is nothing but the example of Russian propaganda aimed at American people with an attempt to influence the outcome of the upcoming US elections. Maybe it's also the fact that their eyes have no emotion. Everything they say is a script. It's like programmed into them. Their eyes are just like a facade of what's actually going on back here, which is nothing. It's just programmed like a tape recorder. Some folks will try to socially shame you for wearing a mask, even though COVID is still the third leading cause of death in our country. They want to socially shame you because they feel socially shamed themselves by you. And no, I don't know anyone that shames people for wearing masks anymore. I mean, most of the time I'll just point and laugh at them. Like maybe, I guess that maybe kind of is shaming, but like whatever, you're dumb at this point. Also crazy eyes. If anyone's wondering, my love languages are questioning the state, challenging the status quo and social convention, radical self-reflection and self-acceptance, dismantling capitalism, and 
play. Serious question, have you ever seen anyone that looks like this, that is pro-capitalist, pro-freedom of speech, pro-anything that's anti-leftist? Anti Honestly, no. I have not seen anybody that is on the other side of things that looks this way. And these people actually don't want to better themselves either. They hate themselves, they hate white people, they hate anyone who they themselves believe are above them. So really it's just self-inflicting pain. Your joy is not resistance. Matter of fact, your joy is what got us here in the first place. Like your joy is why we're having to resist. And like y'all putting yourselves and finding yourselves and like your own joy in front of everybody else is what got us here. Got us where though? Got us to people despising these woke commies? The new woke queer community that, are, that, love, that love communism and socialism? That are control freaks and science deniers? That are blue haired, septum piercing having, AM airs, pronouns? Wait a second, actually this person is right. Those types of people is what got <laughs> is what got us here. Guess what? You're included in that. You're included in that, kid! See how the patronizing language and the, the smile that I'm doing? See how I did that? You guys are learning quick. And don't act like you're not part of that just because of your skin color, just because you're black. You can be an idiot too. How can you be so woke that you hate happiness? That you hate joy? How is somebody else's joy negatively affecting you? That is literally the premise of gay rights and gay marriage. How is our happiness affecting you? We should be able to live in happiness and peace. We are consenting adults. Leave us alone. Now you're saying that other people's happiness is affecting you? That makes no sense! If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already and go and check out Lucas's filmed Blind Innocence. Link in the description below. Make sure you go and support companies and brands that support this channel and our message and our beliefs and also you can watch it for free so why not i will see you guys back here on sunday with a brand new video until then i love you keep calling out the bullshit. bye